welcome back to the good, the bad and the ugly show. So it's that time of year again where I do my yearly trip to the West Point Toy Fair. So um, yeah, we're going to go down there. Um, I'm going to grab Timbo and we're going to go hunt for um, weird obsolete action figures from the past. Hopefully going to find some, uh, maybe some Terminator, Ghostbusters, Turtles, that kind of thing. I don't know, whatever takes our eyes, I guess. Maybe even some Mego if we're really lucky. So um, stay with us and we're going to go and film a bunch of toys and some cool stuff. Okay, so we're here, we're here at the Toy Fair. This is good, isn't it? We are, yeah, my it's first good. time. This, um, this yeah. film over there, look, There's, there it is, there it is, West Point Toy Fair. We are ready. We're about to get in there yeah. and um, find some toys. It's gonna be good. And do it. Um, not spend a hundred quid. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go into the Toy Fair now and uh, Tim's got his, uh, he turned around. I've got, got my his, backpack um, ready to go. He's got his Cocoa Pops, Cocoa Pops backpack. Yep. So let's go into the Toy Fair, oh. Just kidding, it's around the corner. <laughs> Fester. Got a sound cool, isn't it? Always on the lookout for stuff like uh oh, look at that look. Butlins. Butlins playing cards. Butlins playing cards. Wow. That's amazing. Always on the lookout for stuff like the McDonald's toys, changeables. Batman poster over there. Yes. So focus. Adam West, Bart Ward. Uh, that's right. That is right. So here we go, got the old school stuff here. The kind of model stuff. Oh, I don't know what that is over there. Let's look at Star Wars knuckle, but I like that it. Looks it's cool. Bizarre. You got a tank. You go. We've got the more sort of Star Warsy stuff mm -hmm. right here. Excellent. Xena Warrior Princess. Yep. Are you a fan? I am a big fan of that, mate. She yeah. scares me loose and all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yes. That's some great stuff, you know, to be honest. Yeah. Another monsters uh, for the Dracula, but a Frankenstein. Right. Excellent. The uh, Freddy Krueger at the back. Always good, always good. Quite a trucky. That is an uh, original. And we have the uh, Migo uh, Muhammad Ali, which is just fantastic. Really good. Yes. Oh yeah, Terminator. Yep. Right, we go along, and the original Beamer from Star Trek, which is always uh, a pretty good one as well. We'll take along the uh, Batman stuff. And a Palatoy original snow speeder. Original snow speeder. Absolutely. And the stuff of my dreams, Migo. Yes. Migo toys. That's the, uh, the future of my collecting. Uh, we also were interested in Black Star. 
Yes, we have um, Blackstar, which is kind uh, of knock off He Man, basically. basically every wasn't it, fan really? of uh, Action Toys knows about that yeah. and um, how cool that is. And we also have some really quite cool Terminator stuff I didn't notice earlier on. I have purchased this today, which I'll um, show you later on. I mean, that's just uh, a cool thing right there. Plenty of original Thundercats as well. Thundercats, we have mini Boglins, which I absolutely love as well. And uh, yeah, so I mean, Blackstar though, Blackstar's a really cool thing. Yeah. Anyone remembers that. We're also quite interested by some of these. So you have the Prince of Thieves? Fire Tuck right yes. here. I mean, there's a story there's behind a bit, that. There's a very interesting story about very Fire Tuck. Very interesting story there. Oh, I've got that one. That's an interesting figure I might actually buy. But, uh, what about this guy? It's yeah, so he my dreams, man. That's for Billy. <laughs> We've got Dinosaur. Oh, should we show some Troll Warriors yes. as well? I mean, um, look at that. That's ridiculous, isn't it? Uh, it's a funny thing, though. Terminator 2 Judgment Day movie poster puzzle. It's pretty cool. Very and good. the um, special edition Jabba the Hutt. Yes, that is. He's not as good as the original Jabba the Hutt. No, that's but, the power uh, of the Force 2 uh, line. Yeah, indeed. And we have more, um, we have Bucky O'Hare. Yes. People love Bucky O'Hare. And uh, I believe you purchased one of these today. I did, I had to get myself a battle cap. You got a new battle cap? Yes. Old looking thing. Action Force Zero Hour. Yep. And that is the original. Uh, yeah, that's Batman yeah. Forever Back. And just off from that is Castle Grayskull, the Castle original. Castle Grayskull, yeah. This is exactly it. So, more vomiting boxes here, and this one here, there's some gems in here. There are. We will go through later on. I keep seeing these around now, and I had one for years. I didn't know what it was, but it is a sector. And, um... That is, that's, could be Dino Riders. Your kind of thing, isn't it? Yeah. That's right. We've got Egon. Egon? That's uh, horrific, isn't it? Mechanic. Mechanic, yeah, yeah, of course. Why Mecha? Because he turns his... Yeah, shouldn't it be like yeah. Meganek or something? Yeah, right. Why Mechanic? No, you know, why in hot food code, you know? <laughs> <laughs> when you put it like that. Yeah. Star Trek, Star Trek communicators in the 70s. Yeah. A lot of this was just, um, we call, oh, it's the Daleks. A lot of this was label slapping, so you'd get something all the other toy of, yeah. stick the Star Trek stickers on there, and then you've got a Star Trek toy you can sell. Exactly. Um, I love the cheek of it, I really do. Um, the alien's really cool, Alien Warrior. He's not the original Kenner, but he's sort of uh, similar. They've got the original Chewbacca in the box, and the Bionic Man is, that's stuff I absolutely love. Obviously the Mego, I mean, I'm all about the Mego. Rogers in the 25th century, love that. Do you know it's the greying head as well? Like, yeah. I actually love that about them. Um, and this is Superman, uh, yeah. something after Who my heart. We I've... talked about in the yes. last video. Because I think I had him. Oh, wow. This is called TJ Hooker. And TJ Hooker. Was... There's a boxed, um, I need to show this, yep. a boxed uh, Cylon, Cylon, which is Batman just, just cool. Love really that cool. show. Uh, TJ Hooker was a big favourite of mine. Uh, I love Bill Shatner. Chapman again, yeah. We've got a James Bond cap gun here. I would have loved that as a kid. Yeah. And we've got a Star Trek um, Amiga. The original so, yeah. Klingon, there you go. Alpha Star. I love it. We have the older uh, original Star Wars figures here as well. Yeah, these are great. I don't know where to begin with Star Wars, though. It's such a minefield, really. There's so many of them. There is. There's the Mexican looking guy from uh, Return yeah, of the Jedi. That's right. Um, These interest me because I don't really know what they are, but they're really heavy. I have no clue. It's like they're made of metal or something. Feel the weight of that a minute. Yeah, they are. Do you see? Yeah. Yes. All right, action, action tractors. 
action tracks. Can we also have a look at the 18 figures? The 18 figures, yeah. Uh, the van. See, I do have B.A. Baracus. Yeah, in the van from the 18 figures was one of my favourite uh, childhood toys. Like, brilliant. Yeah, fantastic stuff. Again, um, Planet of the Apes. Here yeah. we go. And we have the Batmobiles here. It's also uh, really cool. Money, yeah, that is the transporter that I had as a kid. Slave Great one, stuff. slave yeah. one. Get yourself. <laughs> I wish I could, my sweetheart. I wish I could. The slave one still had the hand solo carbonite in it. Yeah. It does. Wow. Can I have a look? Is that, is that a possibility? Yeah. Also, the ramps are usually missing as well. They are, they are, yeah. But I do need to see the uh, the hand solo. It's like the stuff of legends. There it is. Wow, okay. Fantastic. Let's uh, try and uh, get in there a second. Yeah, that'd be amazing. That's right. Oh, <laughs> well, let's, uh, let's film that. The original Han Solo and Carbonite, that was the first toy that ever came out. Pretty much the only one you could get for a long time. It was, yeah, absolutely. Until they made the, uh, what, the last 16, I think? Yeah. For this one, you can't see his feet. He still looks better than the one you put the figure in, though. Yeah. It's a cool thing. It's a really cool it thing. Is. Here's the newer Star Wars figures, um, are the ones that are newer but made to look more retro. Yep. I quite like them, they're, um, they're pretty good. Yeah, they're done in the retro style, five points of articulation. Yeah, um, and the plastic, sure. the plastic capes would yeah. never made any sense. Yeah, the vinyl. Not even back in the old days. I don't know why they ever, ever did that, to be honest, but... Here's some Doctor Who, Giant Robot, John Pertwee and Peter Davidson. This is some um, Action Men uh, tanks and... Uh, yeah, like a sidecar up there. Really good. I'm on shaky cam now as I'm well. On shaky cam. And we've got a uh, side man in the corner here. He's pretty cool. Yep. And that horse, which I used to have. I think yes. that's like Shiva or He-Man or something. That's the bad guy for for the horse. The hero horse was called Strider, and that's the bad guy for me. Ah. This is something after my heart. Airfix, British Airfix. Airfix. Yeah, they they did deals with um cool. with Miko as well. You yeah. can get the. Uh, Stuff. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Set tapes. And there's a Smurf. Um, yep. I think I probably spent about 50 quid yep. on um, on figures. And we still got the bag on. Yeah, beautiful. The uh, Coco Pops bag. <laughs> <laughs> that was so, quick, yeah, that was a good buy. That was a good one, that was a good all, all the other figures that cost like a tenner each were probably not so good. Yeah, but um, you, know, you didn't get that Fry Attack in the end, did I didn't you? get Fry Attack or the, uh, the Ghostbusters figure yeah. that I was kind of after, but I think I got enough, yeah. to be honest. Um, I'll have a look and be like, oh, what crap have I bought? Why, why have I spent so much money on it? But um, that's all part of the toy hunting thing, I suppose. 
Okay, so here's a sleeping lion, and that means it's time to look at the stuff I found today. So straight away, we've got, um, my wife found this, which is amazing. It's a, um, a Kellogg's um, Cocoa Pops bag. Yeah, it's still got the Kellogg's 1999 thing written on the back of it. So it's an unopened old bag you would have probably sent off for after getting some cereal or something. But it's a pretty cool find, I reckon. So next we have what's in the plastic bag. So let's begin. Tim very kindly bought me a gift, which is very, very nice of him. And it is Willow, the original uh, Willow figure from um, the, the film series. Really odd, these, because... Uh, it wasn't a line that did very well, but um, you know, if you're gonna have one of them, have Willow, right? There we go. What else do we have? We have a bag of goodies. So, I picked up this, which is a figure of Robin. Now, this was the Robin figure from Batman Returns. As the old myth goes, originally Marlon Waynes was going to play Robin in Batman Returns, but um, for some reason that didn't happen and the character got um, basically written out of the film. So instead, um, they just got the action figure they'd already made and they um, made him white instead of black, but he still got the, um, the haircut that Marlon Waynes would have had in the film. So it's a really weird one, but I think it's a really cool kind of oddity. But there we go. And here's a really strange figure. So, um, yeah. Right, okay, so it looks like an alien, right? It's an alien, but it's a man in disguise as an alien. So basically these were supposed to fool the aliens. That like rocket fires off. He's got things on his back and stuff. It's a really cool thing. I've been looking for one of these for a while. So we grabbed that. This guy, I think he used to do with uh, Migo, I believe. He's like a really old school kind of um, weird little kind of adventure person type thing. Kind of situation. We also have a um, we also have a kind of blinged up alien here. I mean, that's weird, right? That's definitely one for the shelf, isn't it? How odd! How odd! We also found Tony the Tiger game. We have to get the uh, cereal boxes into the trolley. I love this. This is so kind of uh, old school. Just ridiculous. Had to pick it up. Next, we have an adventure person, I think, no, an action force, in fact. Um, they were kind of strange, kind of cool though, like little action man, really. Good thing. I grabbed some mini boglins for a couple of quid. I always love mini boglins, so if I see them, I pick them up. Look at his nose. That's another good one, that one. We also found, we found uh, Bob from Batman. This is from the original Toy Biz uh, Batman line and he uh, kicks his leg up. Sadly, he doesn't have his hat, but um, a pretty cool uh, toy to find anyway. Not something you see every day. Here's another action force. With his skull and crossbones on him. He's, uh, he's another strange one. I've forgotten his name, but, uh, but Tim knows. We'll do another video on these figures at some point anyway, um, probably. Here's an adventure, they're Fisher Price, I think they were um, adventure people. Uh, they were strange, their heads come like right down like that, and their arms always point out. The original Star Wars figure prototypes um, were based on these. And we also have, from He-Man, we have the almighty Ram Man, who is uh, just brilliant. I've been looking for him for a while. Another ridiculous character, he's got on the shelf with uh, Fisto. And we finish off with the most ridiculous of all, I think, which is from the Terminator toy series, the liquid metal guy when he becomes a cop. Because what happens in the film, if you remember rightly, um, he looks up to the building, he sees them in there, so he lowers his head and his ass turns into a rocket launcher and he flies into the building. Remember that scene? I think it's only in the director's cut. But yeah, why? Why do they do that? That's just such a ridiculous toy, right? But, um... There you go, that's a thing that happened. So here is my uh, my haul from today. Um, I didn't go completely crazy, which is good, but I think we did pretty well. Please like, share, and subscribe to The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly Show. Because there's no room left in here.